I've always had a pretty positive outlook on life, and I think it served me well. My name is Chris Green. I live in Sedona, Arizona. It's the most beautiful place to hike in the whole wide world, and I'm retired here, and I love it. I've been on dialysis almost a year, about 10 months, and when I was first diagnosed, I went into shock and denial. So I didn't do anything for about six months. I got sick and I thought I just had a cold or the flu or something and I just couldn't shake it. So I went to the emergency room and met with the same doctor who told me the first time. I knew I had to do it. My lifestyle was pretty busy and I didn't want to take the time going to hemodialysis. And when I heard about peritoneal dialysis. That sounded like it went along a lot more with my lifestyle. The nurse that helped me with my trip actually trained me in PD. She and I went out to my little trailer and she showed me where a good place would be to hook up the bags. And I actually did, you know, an exchange in there. She was confident about it, which made me confident about it. And then it was just something I had to do. I mean, I often tell people that I brush my teeth twice a day, I eat three times a day, and I do dialysis four times a day. And that's just kind of how I look at it, that that's what I have to do, and that's what I do. I went on a trip this summer. It was a road trip. It was 5,500 miles about. I visited a lot of friends and family and saw a lot of beautiful sights. I had to schedule drop-offs for my equipment about every two weeks. And when I was on the road, I could pull over into a roadside rest and pop up my trailer, do my dialysis, and then pop it back down and head on my way. It was pretty much a little PD booth. I really had accomplished what I had set out to do, and it was a good feeling. I've kind of planned two more trips <laughs> before next summer. <laughs> I thought, well, maybe I can do this on the train, maybe I can do the, you know, I don't know if there's any limit to what I can do. 